Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to the channel. Um, what? Up. Come in here. Hi, I'm Rachel. This is Heimdall. Um, one of our favourite things to do is eat. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about one of my favourite things to do in the van, which is cook and consequently eat. Um, obviously, because we're in a van full time, I cook in here a lot and we only have a hob. So we don't have an oven, we don't have an air fryer, we don't have any other facilities in the van. So our meals are like very simple, but we also like to eat really well. We like to eat healthily and we just like to eat tasty food. Um, I think Cam and me are both people who who live to eat rather than eat to live. And so it's a good thing that I really enjoy cooking. So I'm gonna start sprinkling in the odd video for anyone who's interested in how we cook in the van, what we eat, recipe ideas, and all of that good stuff that I personally do enjoy myself. So this week I'm gonna show you our kitchen in the van and I'm gonna show you the lunch that I'm gonna meal prep for the week ahead. So I hope you enjoy. And if you do, please do like and please do subscribe because there's plenty more content on the way. Um, my usual footage is like a weekly vlog Vlog that I put out on a Sunday. So I hope you enjoy this additional extra episode. So this is our kitchen. Um, yes, it very much fits in one frame, so it's gonna be the shortest uh, van tour of your life. But this is what we have to work with. We have a hob, a magnetic spice rack on the side here. We have a tap, which Cam made himself, which is really awesome if you ask me. And we have an undermounted sink. And yes, there is washing up in it at the moment. I'm not gonna do that before I start cooking. Then in terms of storage, we have three drawers here. The top one is everything like knives and forks, bowls, cups, all of that stuff. Anything I need to get to quickly when I'm cooking. The next one down is more of our like stuff drawer. So this is things like pans, spices, three different types of hot chocolate because that's an essential and then we have like i don't know sachets of sauce curry paste etc etc one of the things that i've been trying to do recently is stock up more on the essentials um, because when you get to like the remote parts of scotland it gets really expensive in shops so i've been trying to make sure that we have enough things like coconut milk um chopped tomatoes like curry pastes like base things for meals so there's always something here we can eat and i don't have to spend like two pounds for a tin of chopped tomatoes in rural scotland we then have this drawer which is where we keep all of our pans um, and any food that is left over and being used that doesn't fit in a fridge <laughs> and then underneath we have a cupboard i won't show you this one because it is always a huge mess inside but that cupboard stores everything else so all of the all of the dry larder storage goes in that cupboard at the bottom obviously we have a little dometic fridge as well and this cupboard is just for under the sink things like toothbrushes cleaning products tea towels etc etc what's your favorite cupboard home door <laughs> the food one yeah he says the food one I'm starting by getting the mince on to cook, a little bit of oil on the pan. I'm doing pork mince for this, um, but you can use any mince. We would, to be honest, usually use like some sort of corn mince. We have been trying to reduce the amount of meat that we eat. But for today, it is pork. While the mince is cooking, I'm gonna get the veg chopped up. And I already did some of this yesterday. So we have whoop, red and white cabbage chopped up here. Um, that is because red and white cabbage do not fit in the cupboard or the fridge. So they're pre-chopped, popped in a Tupperware and ready to use today. So the only extra things I'm going to chop up now are a chilli. A chilli. <laughs> and some spring onions. Um, and I'm going to make the sauce as well. Now the mince is cooked through, I'm going to add some ginger and some garlic into the mix here. I use the very lazy garlic and the very lazy ginger because I'm very lazy and because it works really well in the van. There we go. Maybe some more garlic. You can like never have too much garlic. 
And now we're going to make our sauce. So the sauce is going to be a combo of apple cider vinegar. I think I'm going to go for a tablespoon. Sesame oil. I've not even opened this one. Soy sauce and honey. Yeah, that's really nice. That is what we'll do. I'm just going to put that in now. And now we're just going to slowly add the cabbage until it wilts down because this will go down quite a lot. I only have a, like a small pan because of space. So things like this are always uh, maybe a little bit more of a challenge than they should be. I just added in the chili as well. You can see that the cabbage is cooking down really nicely too. Try it. It's really good. The sauce is fine. I don't think we need to add anything extra. And the ginger and garlic, oh. It makes me really excited to eat. <laughs> gonna put um sriracha in cams especially because cam likes spice. Very happy to hear that. This is when my burrito rolling skills either come into play or don't come into play at all. It's possible. Yeah, if it tastes good or not. Yeah you gotta tell me if it tastes good or not. I took a really big bite. Is it really spicy? I took a big bite. Oh. You said it didn't do so good here. No, that's really nice. Lovely and spicy. Yeah? Yummy? Very yummy. Nice flavours. I am more than happy to have it for our lunches. Well, we've got it for a good week, so... Mm. I saw how much it was. It's even more better. That's a win. That is, a, that is Michelin star praise from a Cameron. So I'm gonna, gonna roll mine and see how I think. I really, really like it. You did a good job. We've both finished eating and that was so nice. Like hopefully I don't have cabbage in my teeth, but yeah, I'm really, after eating it, happy that I put this video together because this is a recipe that I can like totally recommend that you go and cook in the van. Uh, minimal washing up, really, really yummy. Lasts for like a good few days. Like this will be our lunch for the week now. Um, you can also have it cold or warm, so you can reheat it or just eat it as it is. Or you can serve it with like rice or, anything else that you would rather lock it out with if you'd rather have something more substantial than just a wrap but for us this is a lunch rather than a dinner so it's absolutely perfect and i really enjoyed cooking it so well thank you so much for watching this video it's obviously a little different to the content i normally put out but i'm planning to do a wednesday video at least every fortnight potentially every week going forward um, there's loads of topics i want to cover about how I actually work on the roads, like van tours, ideas for meals, and all of this stuff that we've kind of picked up on the way. Along with the, the cliche, like here's our favorite bits of the NC500 and all of that standard stuff you might expect from a, a van life channel, right? So I think I'm gonna do those videos on a Wednesday and stick to putting out the usual vlog on a Sunday. Um, so thank you if you're here and you're watching this and if this is the type of content you like seeing, if you actually enjoyed it, then please um, leave a comment and let me know I'm on the right track. Um, but to be honest, I'm just gonna keep on making what I enjoy. So you might be stuck with it anyway. Um, but thank you again and I will talk to you soon.